What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. Before we get into the content, I have to give you a quick disclaimer. This video is not intended to be taken seriously. The thralls that you're about to see cannot be obtained without the admin privileges. Trying to tame these thralls may lead to abusing your mouse and keyboard, kicking inanimate objects, foul language, having the sudden urge to throat punch the next person you see, and your inevitable demise through dismemberment and death. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's take a look at these thralls. These are all thralls that you have to spawn through the admin panel. So we've got the brood guards, we've got the emissaries, we've got the brood guards, we've got the emissaries. So the emissaries and the brood guards fall into one category. And they all have these same stats. So here they are. They come out of the box with 20,000 736 HP. Their damage modifier is 1.664. Their ranged modifier is 1.1. Five, five. Their strength is at 15, agility at 3, vitality at 10, accuracy at 2, survival at 15. Their hit points per point in vitality is 273.6, and they are slow levelers. Moving over to the Sobek boss. Yes, this is the guy that you go in the cave and you kill him to get the Sobek armor. Let's look at his stats real quick. He comes out of the box with 20,736 hit points. His damage modifier is 1.664, ranged modifier at 1.664 as well, strength of 15, agility at 3, vitality at 10, accuracy at 2, survival at 15, and the hit points that he gains per point in vitality is 273.6, and he is also a slow leveler. Now, if you're enjoying this content so far, go ahead and whack that like button and subscribe for future videos. And I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Bourbon over on Discord for poking and prodding me to actually get this video done. You're going to see some really cool thralls. Here we go. Moving on to Dunkus the, the Mad Eye, and this is the guy that you get the broken glass from. In fact, he comes out of the box with the broken glass, which is pretty cool. But here we go, admin only. Remember, these are all admin only. But his hit points are 26,670. His damage modifier is 2.6. Range modifier of 2.625. Strength of 1, agility of 2, vitality of 3, accuracy of 30, survival of 15. And he comes. his hit points per point in vitality gain is 1,890. And if you look at the bottom there, he is a fast leveler. Now, Dunkus the Mad Eye is the second highest in points per point in vitality. So his hit points per point in vitality, second highest out of everything I'm going to show you. Moving on, we have the Relic Hunter Seeker bosses, and these are all the bosses that you find spread around the unnamed city. They have low hit points, but they've got something going on. So hit points that they come out of the box with is 7,152. Their damage modifier is 4.16. Their range modifier is 4.2. Strength of zero, agility of 15, vitality of 10, accuracy of 20, survival of zero. Their hit point gain per point in vitality is 115.2, and they are a slow leveler. However, they have the second best melee damage modifier and the third best ranged damage modifier so here we have ladagara daughter of emir look at those hit points 42,600. her damage modifier is 3.12 but look at her range modifier at 6.3 strength of 30 agility of 5 vitality of 10 accuracy of zero, survival of zero, and her point gain per point in vitality is 1,260. She is also a normal leveler, which means you're going to level her up much faster than anything we've seen so far. She does have the best, the highest number one damage modifier for ranged, which means she would be a fabulous archer, and she has the third highest hit point gain per point in vitality. Next on the list is the arena champion, 
Check out the Arena Champion. She has hit points of 24,192. Her damage modifier, melee, is 5.2. Her range modifier is also 5.2. Her strength is 15, agility at 3, vitality at 10, accuracy at 2, survival at 15. Her hit point gain per point in vitality is 319.2. She is a slow leveler. However, she has the best melee damage modifier and the second best range damage modifier. And I'm going to give her the all-around best damage damage modifier thrall award because she does right there 5.2 5.2 how can you go wrong now the witch queen is something i wasn't expecting so you can see she's still hunched over now i have leveled her up to 20 and i am going to show you the level 20 for the witch queen for the arena champion and for ladagara daughter of amir but let's look at what the witch queen comes out of the box with holy smokes guys 55,908 hit points her damage modifiers are pretty low with a melee modifier of 1.664 a range modifier of 1.155 strength of zero agility of zero vitality of 15 accuracy of zero survival of 30 her hit point gain per point in vitality is 2527.2 and she is a fast leveler she has the highest in initial hit points and the highest in hit points per point in vitality so here we go let's look at the level 20s we'll go backwards here we'll start with the witch queen look at her hit points 149,414 now she did get a pretty decent roll in stats as you can see she got the godly vigor which gave her an additional 10 points in vitality and she got born warrior which also gave her more in vitality i don't care what you go fight uh, she could fight like everything in the exiled lands naked with a stone sword and still come out winning with 149,414 hit points. Moving over to the arena champion, let's take a look. She got 33,771 hit points. She actually comes out of the box with the quake, which is pretty cool. And if we look at her stats, she got some pretty good stats there she got 12,771 additional points from vitality and i mean this one's going to be good to go 5.2 as a damage modifier she's going to crush everything you put in front of her and let's take a look at Latagara, daughter of Amir. Now, one thing that is interesting about Latagara is she happens to be one of the only blondes that is always blonde in the Exiled Land. So that's pretty cool little fun fact for you. But let's check out, eh, let's look at this first. She ended up with 65,280. She comes out of the box with the Foe Shatter, which is a very good weapon as well. And if we look at her stat roll, here we go. Strength, she got tanked on the strength with the negative five, but she's still at 40 strength, which is pretty darn good. And look at survival. Holy cow, that is like 63 in survival. There's nothing that's going to be detriment to her at all. I don't care if she gets poisoned by everything. It's not going to matter against this particular thrall. So those are going to be my top three out of the ones that you can spawn through the admin panel. It's going to be Latagara, the Arena Champion, and the Witch Queen. Now, if you are a server admin, you can always spawn these in and give them away as special gifts. Or like if you have an event, they could win a thrall like this. Or if you're just playing around in your solo game or on your own private server, you obviously have access to spawn any of these in. And in case you don't know how to do that, what you're going to do is just come into settings here. You're going to go over to server settings, click this to make yourself admin. You can see I'm already allowed to cheat. If you have to put a password in, you better know the password. And then if we go into the admin panels, yours may look different. You may not have this. This is the Pippi mod. This is what you'll likely have if you don't have the Pippi mod is just something like this. We can go to spawn NPCs if we want Lada Gara. We just type Lada and there she is there. Make sure you click the spawn as converted thrall and then boom, we've got one of her. And then 
Arena is super simple. Again, uh, just type in Arena and boom, we've got one of those. And last but not least, the Witch Queen is just as easy. She's right there. Just type in Witch and boom. And if we look at our inventory, we now have all three of those thralls. So go out, grab something from the admin panel, have fun with it. Go kill absolutely everything with any one of these thralls. Really any one of them, even the, the ones that are down there. Although I recommend these top three, you are going to be able to just crush anything in the exiled lands. I've got a couple other videos coming up on the screen right there. Pick one of those and let's continue the conversation. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. I'd like to thank all my subscribers for their continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you get notified when I upload another video.